like it's my responsibility to show you guys both the highlights and the struggles in my life. Hello guys, it's another day, a new day. I finally fell asleep last night at a reasonable hour and then I woke up at like 8.30. So I feel so good. Like when I wanna feel most confident and when I'm feeling like happy and good, it may be the opposite for you, but for me, I result straight to all black. I am so excited today because, because I found a little specialty coffee shop that might have almond milk or oat milk. It looks like healthy, like they have like acai bowls and sandwiches and just, it looks cute. So I am going to go there. And then I have class at CEA. Okay guys, so I'm at the coffee shop and I got my oat milk latte. What are the odds they have oat milk? It's a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> I can see like a bridge in front of me. The sun, morning sun is hitting my face. I feel, I feel like this is the way all mornings should start with a nice coffee and some orange trees above you. There's literally orange trees everywhere here. But look, it has a little design on it. just like broke on me. Right now I am walking from the coffee shop to my class to the CEA center and I really enjoyed this walk because you have to go through a park and this park is gorgeous. It, there's like palm trees, orange trees everywhere. It's just a really nice way to get to class. Like, look at that. courtyard of the CEA Center and it's really nice out here but we just finished class and it's actually a holiday in Spain tomorrow January 6th so we are celebrating with some chocolates and this is actually my last class I'm so sad I have to leave early because my school starts on Monday okay can you introduce yourself Okay, uh, this is Amaya, and I'm a Spanish teacher for gastronomy culture, and I'm very happy to to do this um, to do class. this class, class yes. <laughs> for all of you. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican food, finally. <laughs> that looks actually really good. Thank oh my you. god. Mm -hmm. Is that the that enchilada or burrito? Another one? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, On a side, but you took it out, remember? It, it comes in a side. <laughs> Wait, do they do like cream sauces? <laughs> <laughs> today in the gym at my student center at my my home I just woke up practically it's like 11 but you know jet lag I really need to stretch my body and I thought might as well take advantage of the gym that they have here in the residence so yes my hair is wet because I don't have a hair dryer here. There's not one in the room. So I've been having to just air dry my hair. I'm kind of cold right now, but it's okay. I'm gonna warm myself up. <laughs> day this 
top I got yesterday at a vintage store. It's Ralph Lauren. No, that's not Ralph Lauren. That's Tommy Hilfiger. I thought it was so cute. If you guys watched my last vlog, you would have seen little story went into. It was a great experience. Very proud of myself. And then I'm wearing this skirt from PacSun and my boots are Steve Madden. I think I'm gonna go get some coffee. I just need something to wake me up and then maybe I'll read at the coffee shop. Just have a chill afternoon. haven't vlogged a lot today but I'm at a market right now and we're about to do a cooking class yeah a shout out to CA for taking us it's very loud right now for taking us on a cooking class this is where we're gonna be I think and we're making paella oh yes I'm vegetarian no chicken right no chicken no chicken no pollo this is the best day of my life back from the cooking class which was very fun and I am drinking some tea right now this is Trader Joe's well rested caffeine free because I need to be well rested okay so I just wanted to be to chat with you guys I, I feel like you guys appreciate when I'm real with you and when I'm like more vulnerable with you and even though that can be hard for me because I feel like being vulnerable is just hard in general but it can also be like a relief and kind of a means of like getting it off my chest for you guys watching this and I know a lot of times social media can make things seem absolutely perfect and I know most of us really have this deep insight already that life isn't perfect and that social media is only the highlight highlight reel but especially being a creator I feel like it's my responsibility to show you guys both the highlights and the struggles in my life because it wouldn't be painting an accurate picture and I'll explain that more in depth but I also feel like I never want to come off like ungrateful or just like I'm complaining because I would never just complain well, I actually do complain a lot, <laughs> but I never want to just be like a Debbie Downer and like ruin your guys' day because like I'm complaining about like some small things in my life or whatever. However, let's cut to the chase. Well, Luca, why are you like so serious all of a sudden? You guys have seen like the highlights of traveling abroad. I honestly have so many good things to say about it. I think it's an experience that is unforgettable. And with all experiences that have a great payoff, I feel like they also have a lot of challenges that you can grow from. Today, I just felt extremely homesick. I don't live with my parents, but I was just in Florida for like a month. It was really hard going from like being there for like Christmas and then immediately having to go to Europe by myself. And I'm a grown up, I'm 21. You know, I, I live by myself, but it doesn't make it any easier, like, leaving them. I'm someone who is more on the anxious spectrum of, of people. I think some people are built a, li a little bit more uptight and maybe, like, nervous than others. And sometimes I get anxiety at night, and sometimes I feel like I have just, like, a whirlwind of emotions, and I, I don't know what to do with myself, especially since I'm, like, alone. It's really just taught me to, like, self-soothe and, like, learn techniques 
that help my anxiety. There's a lot of new things happening, which can be so good and fun and also like overstimulating for someone who is, again, introverted, has anxiety sometimes. I have to learn to put myself first. And I'm telling you guys this because if you ever wanna do anything that's worth your time, you're gonna have to deal with like negative aspects and you can turn those negative aspects into things that teach you more about yourself and teach you how to handle yourself better. Deep breaths, I know it can be like self-explanatory, whatever, but like just like deep belly breathing helps me calm down. Reading, I don't just read because it's fun. I read because it brings me deeply into something that's like not my external world. And also taking a break from social media, not checking my phone 24 seven, enjoying what's around me, not like sensory overload all the time on like TikTok and like constantly checking to see if like someone texted me or DM me because that just takes me out of the moment, you know? Greatness lies outside of your comfort zone. <laughs> And I was literally just like so homesick today, which is kind of crazy that I'm like giving advice about it because I'm still like kind of sad, but I'm doing good. The office is available in Spain. So I watched some of that and it made me really laugh. I think my tea might be ready. My tea is ready and it is indeed good. That was my nighttime talk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything to add to this conversation, leave me a comment down below. So much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a little bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think.